All right, what's going on, Alabama family, college football fans? Gen 16 back here again. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the recent commitment in Kendrick Blackshire, um, the Duncanville linebacker. A guy that's 6'2", 250 pounds, one of the best inside linebacking prospects, and one of the, of course, one of the best prospects from the state of Texas, just made his uh, commitment to the University of Alabama around, I think, about a couple couple hours ago, maybe three hours ago, depending on when this, oh, depending on uh, when this gets out to you guys, but. Yeah, big big commitment for the University of Alabama. Um, one of the, you know this is this is a guy that's has been one of Alabama's top priorities uh, for the past couple of years since his sophomore season. Of course, his junior season he missed it um, when he when he transferred to Duncanville with the ACL injury. But this is a guy that's you know he's trying to work back to what he used to to and who knows maybe even be better um, than what he was. Um, but a guy that's six two, two hundred and fifty pounds, like the dude already has the frame of a professional football player the way it is now. Um, doesn't play like Reuben Foster as far as that aggression goes. I think there's only one prospect that I think has played like that um, that I've seen, and that was Justin Flo. But he has the same frame as Reuben Foster when he came out of Auburn. Uh, you know, a guy that was around six one, six two, but close to two hundred and fifty pounds coming out of high school. Um, you know, Shane Lee was also that way. Shane Lee was six feet, was six feet, but he was 250 pounds. But I think Kendrick, is, he, he moves a lot quicker, a lot faster than Shane Lee did when, when he came from uh, out of uh, St. Francis Academy in, uh, in Baltimore, Maryland. So, uh, yeah, one of the best inside linebacking prospects in the country. Alabama finally nabs him. This is a guy who's been, um, you know, he's been crystal ball to Alabama from a lot of uh, from a lot of guys uh, for a while. Um, he was supposed to commit in, you know, on July 4th, but his mom um, told him to uh, to commit on this particular day because of our, uh, you know, Kendrick's uh, grandmother passed away when his mom was nine. So um, this was a great gesture for Kendrick. Um, you know, this is, you know, and hopefully his family. Uh, matter of fact, no, I know his family is proud of him. I, I know especially his mom. I know this was a tough day um, for her. Um so I'm glad that um, you know I'm glad that the family um, is proud of this moment and uh, Kendrick can honor his grandmother and his mom um, by making uh, a commitment. Um, just just going to college, you know, it doesn't matter where you commit, you know, uh, you know, just making his family proud. Um, that's that's the best thing um, that I want to see. So or that everyone wants to see. So um, yeah, con you know, congratulations to Kendrick for uh, committing to the University of Alabama. Um, again, hopefully he can hold on to this. Uh, hopefully Alabama can hold on to this young man because he's a promising young man. I've heard the man speak uh, before, and uh, he seems very. He seems like a really, really great guy, and uh, I can't wait for him to get on the campus. So, Bama fans, let me know how you guys feel about Kendrick Blackshire. Do um, you guys feel like this is a guy that will stick with his commitment to the University of Alabama, or do you guys feel like he could potentially move on? And do you feel like he'll be a good contributor, um, not just on the football field, but on the but off the football field? I know this guy. I know this kid is gonna is gonna uh, he's gonna do great things on and off the football field. And uh, man, I just can't wait for him to get on campus and show out. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, who knows? Um, Sunday, um, Ferguson, um, offensive lineman from the state of Georgia. He's a guy that's supposed to commit. A lot of crystal balls is going, uh, you know, towards Alabama's way. So hopefully he does make a commitment to the University of Alabama. But otherwise, um, hey, Alabama moves up 10 to, I think, top 10 right now. So we went from 57th to all the way in the top 10 now in recruiting. So Alabama just trying to pick up the pace. I know everyone is anxious about the Brockermeyer twins. Um, you know, uh, Jaqu you know Jaquincy is another guy to watch out for. Um, so, yeah. Kendrick Blackshire, a guy that a lot of Alabama fans were nervous about, but they got him. And uh, yeah, like I said, you know, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of times. I can't wait for this kid to ball. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Jen Seven Six. I'll catch you guys later. Road Tide. Stay safe. Peace.